Good morning, Cancer. This is Renee, and welcome back. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you this week, my lovely Cancer. So, let's get some messages. We have the High Priestess as your overall energy. Okay, I feel like you're looking for answers. Cancer, I feel like the answers that you're looking for, those things are going to be resolved for you this week. I feel like there's things that are becoming more clear, right? Okay, the magician, beautiful. We also have the devil, okay? The lovers, okay, temperance. Ooh, all major arcana. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands, <laughs> the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Okay, at the bottom we have the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like some good news is definitely coming in for you. Whatever this High Priestess is here to tell you, I feel like she's going to reveal something to you that you've been waiting to reveal to be revealed right because we have temperance right next to it and i feel like you've been waiting for answers you've been waiting for something that you want to be resolved to be resolved right so i feel like this week a lot of things are going to become more clear for you you're going to have the answers that you're looking for and i feel like you know listen to the inner voice within you cancer because I feel like that's going to tell you a lot. That's going to really open up things for you. Okay? I feel like with this high priestess, I'm really getting the vibes that something, some kind of divine intervention is happening for you this week. Something is in the works, okay? We have the magician energy. So I feel like, you know, your willpower is really, really exhilarating this week. I feel like you have a lot of willpower and your, you know, whatever this is that you're waiting for, I'm seeing that it's coming through and you're getting um, clarity on the situation. But you're also getting some type of blessing. Some kind of blessing is coming through for you with this King of Pentacles energy. This is prosperity and abundance. Okay. For some of you, I feel like this is someone who's being very generous to you at this time. There's someone who's offering you maybe a new job, new promotion, um, more money when it comes to your finances. Okay. With this devil energy in the middle, I really feel like my beautiful cancer, I feel like something's been blocking you. You know, there's something that's been weighing on you when it comes to this situation that you feel is unresolved. And I feel like you're protecting your energy in a way. You know, um, you're looking for something to happen that will be long term. Now, this bottom row looks really good because I feel like there's prosperity happening. You have long-term security here with the Four of Pentacles. And then we're moving to the Wheel of Fortune. So I really feel like good things are going to start happening for you this week. It's going to be a turn of events that is going to be a shift for you. Okay? And if we go down towards the bottom, actually it's going good both ways. If we go down towards the bottom, we have, you know, you're manifesting some kind of energy. There's some something in the works for you, right? You get the clarity that you need. Something becomes resolved. You get the answers to what you've been looking for. And then we get this good fortune, this change coming through, right? If we go up this way, we see the prosperity, you know, things being resolved to the lovers, choices right so there could be definitely some new love coming in for you there could be definitely some a new connection 
that's coming through for you. Someone's getting your attention here, you know, with this two of cups, excuse me, the lover's energy and uh, the seven of wands. I really feel like whoever this is is coming through is being very persistent. They're standing their ground. You know, they're not backing down. So I, I'm, I'm really feeling like this person who's coming through is very persistent with you, right? They want very much to get your attention. They're trying very hard to get your attention. And I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune energy, that's exactly what they're doing. Okay, so we have, with the Magician, we have a lot of air energy. This is Gemini, right? We have Capricorn, we have Gemini again. Definitely could be a Gemini coming through for you. We have Temperance, which is Sagittarius energy. We have Pisces. We have uh, Capricorn again, Aquarius, okay, Earth energy. And we have, with the Wheel of Fortune, we have Pisces energy, okay? So it could be a Pisces as well. There's also um, a lot of Capricorn energy, a lot of um, Earth energy here as well, okay? So I feel like something is definitely coming in for you. If you're open to love, my beautiful Cancer, I feel like new love is coming through, okay? So, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Why is the Magician here, please? Why do we have the Magician? The Seven, uh, excuse me, that's the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like when it comes to your manifestation skills, I really feel like you're mastering their skills. You could be training yourself up to be a um, more efficient manifester, right? You could be reading books, doing self-help. You could be um, learning more about manifesting in general. Um, the, I feel like you're also looking to increase your willpower, creating new things in your life, right? And increasing your power, you know? The, the magician, this is another card of mastery. So you could be really training up to do something, you know? You're putting in a lot of effort to build up your skills in some area. Okay, give me a message. Why is the temperance card here? What is my beautiful cancer waiting on? What is my beautiful cancer waiting on? The moon. Answers. You're waiting for answers. Yeah, you're getting those answers with this high priestess. Okay. Why is the king of pentacles here? The Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're bossing up. Okay, Cancer? I feel like you're going from this Knight of Pentacles to this King of Pentacles. So I, I really feel like there's an offer on the table that's going to increase your abundance. Because you're moving from this Knight of Pentacles energy to this King of Pentacles energy. Okay? Um, so there's definitely maybe some promotion that you're being offered. You could be uh, uh, being offered a raise, an increase, okay? Some kind of abundance is coming through for you. Give me a message. Why is the devil here? Give me a message for the devil. Why is the devil here? The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, something that was wronged is now being made right. This is also a lot of earth energy, right? So it could definitely be a Capricorn coming through. We have the Page of Cups here at the bottom. So this is definitely some kind of offer um, that I feel like you won't be able to refuse. This is a really good offer, okay? This is something that you had thought was blocked, 
Okay, you thought this energy was being blocked, that you were being turned down for some kind of situation, right? You you had no idea. Actually, you were thinking that it was going to go in a negative way, but it's actually going in a very positive way with this Ten of Pentacles energy, right? This is some kind of great wealth coming in for you, okay? This could be some kind of inheritance that's coming through, and I feel like it's very unexpected with this Page of Cups energy. This is something that you're not expecting, okay? So this is coming out of the blue, Okay, why is the High Priestess here? Give me a message. Why is the High Priestess here? The Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you understand that your situation has more than one answer. Okay, but I feel like you know to listen to your intuition when it comes to your situation. For some of you, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of confusion around you about the answers to your questions. But I feel like they're going to definitely be resolved. Yeah, with the Four of Pentacles, we, we have the Hangman. So you're actually seeing things from a different perspective. There may be something that you're sacrificing in this situation. Um, but I really I really get the, the uh, idea in my mind that this is you looking at something from a totally different perspective this is an awakening to whatever answers are being revealed to you you're like hmm you know it all makes sense now everything makes sense this is how i should go about this right that's the what, what i'm getting Tell me about the Lover's card. Why is the Lover's card here? Give me a message for the Lover's card. Okay, the Four of Swords. Okay, Cancer. We have the Justice at the bottom. So I really feel like you're coming out of this time period when you've been taking care of yourself. Now I feel like with this lover's card coming through, I feel like someone wants to take care of you. Someone wants to put in that time and attention with you. Someone wants to make you feel wanted, give you that balance, that restoration that you've been wanting. I feel like for some of you, I feel like this is someone to come in and help you heal. Okay. Um, I feel like with this person, this person is going to be a helpmate. You know, um, someone that you can depend on. Someone who will be there for you. Okay. Tell me more about this Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? A little bit of fire showing up. Why is the Seven of Wands here? The Chariot. Yeah. And I feel like if this is a love offer, I feel like you're moving forward with this because this person is trying very hard to get your attention. And that's bringing out a lot of curiosity in you. You're really starting to really think about this person. You're really starting to notice this person and see that, you know, you have a big choice to make. You know, you have the ideas that this could actually grow into something that could you know make your life much easier you know you may be thinking about starting a family building a family you know um ace of pentacles and temperance yeah this is something that you've been waiting for after something has ended look at this yeah you've been putting in a lot of time because of the fact that you may have been hurt in the past with this devil with this devil energy coming out again i feel like you've kind of blocked yourself away from letting anyone in you know you've been very preoccupied with your career or trying to build yourself up trying to you know, get yourself in the right place where you want to be. 
And I feel like now is the time because this person is coming through. So I feel like, you know, it's time to unblock your energy and go through this healing. Okay, with this um, Wheel of Fortune energy, we have the Eight of Cups energy. And at the bottom, we have the King of Swords. Definitely. So I really feel like with this good fortune, there's something that you're letting go of. There's something that you're releasing. Because I feel like what's coming, you know, is much better than what you have. So there's something that you're letting go of. Because you, you know and understand that something better is in store for you. You can feel it, right? The King of Swords, this is knowing the truth. You know, being very, uh, putting your head over your heart. Being very logical at times. And I feel like you can see it in your mind's eye. That something better is coming in for you. You know, that's the reason why. You're easily letting this go. You're walking away from this with any with no problem. Okay, tell me more about this Eight of Cups energy. I want to be a little nosy. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, something now gives you a lot of clarity. Something now gives you a lot of understanding of the way things are. And you're like... Okay, I now know that releasing this energy is going to bring in something better. So I'm going to go for this something better. We have the star card at the bottom and the empress and the justice. Oh my goodness, and the two of cups. Got it, spirit. Thank you. Yeah, definitely something good is coming in for you this week, my beautiful cancer. So I feel like what's in store for you is so much better than whatever it is that you're leaving behind. Because this is wish, wishing upon a star. You know, having everything that you need, being able to manifest, having that balance, that stability, and then coming to these choices, coming to this choice. Now, this Two of Cups energy, this is already made, you've made this choice. Yeah, you've made it. You know, and for some of you, this is also love and friendship. So take that how it resonates, my beautiful Cancer. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your angel number and see what else we have for my beautiful Cancer. Okay, we have, look at this, willpower, that magician energy. Okay, we have 1616. Things may feel out of sync and not within your control. The whisper of the divine is asking that you remember that you are being supported and that your will is your superpower. Determination is key right now. Okay, your affirmation. I call upon my strength and willpower to take the lead. I accept and listen to the support of the divine within me. Okay. So that's your, your uh, angel number and affirmation. Now we're going to go ahead and get your fortune oracle and see what we have Ooh, right away. Okay, we have proposal. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. There's definitely some kind of proposal in store for you. This could be career oriented or love oriented. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at number 27. And I'll read you this message. Okay, we have proposal. The card is all about proposals of different kinds. You may find that projects you have been waiting for finally come to fruition. And new business and, and real estate opportunities abound. Of course, there is a strong likelihood that a marriage proposal will eventually eventuate for those in loving committed relationships um, depending on what you desire this is a most promising card to help you achieve your dreams in relationships if you are locked in the past hoping for uh, reconciliation with a lot of love, you must move on and let go. 
this card speaks of the future there is a possibility of positive new love coming into your life and a lover surrounds you with the potential for tremendous emotional fulfillment blissful exciting relationships could make the final commitment this card can excuse me this card can also represent engagements within your family and invitations to upcoming nuptials okay for your money this is an excellent time to buy and sell real real estate you could make some decent money on a sale or even a purchase of your dream home or investment be sure to do your homework and have the understanding of the current market trends you must take the necessary precautions where legal issues are concerned on all new projects money gains are likely on the stock exchange and making money ideas come to fruition care does need to be taken with get rich quick schemes and anything surrounding too good to be true probably is cost merchants are also in full swing so be careful career offers can land in your lap yeah okay so just what i was saying okay your power tip place a large rose quartz crystal in your bedroom and a recent happy family photo to encourage proposals and opportunities in your personal life okay so rose quartz is a good stone for meditating and place that in your bedroom along with a, a happy picture of the loved one that you want to propose yeah okay i'm feeling it okay cancer that is your reading and i feel like it's going to be a very prosperous week for you so good news for you and until your next reading my lovely cancer many blessings love and light